Hey everyone, welcome back. Actually, we are discussing MB820 lab series. Okay, so almost we have covered five videos where in five videos I have covered almost 10 exercises at least. Okay, so you can see here that this is what we are discussed so far. So this is the first video and these four in the second video and these three in the third video and this four in the fourth this two in the fourth video and this one in the fifth video that is basic report now we are going to discuss about the data verse okay so how to create this data verse that is what we are going to discuss here so if you are watching this video for the first time please go and check this mb820 lab series okay so here is what i am adding all the lab series which are discussed in the mb820 and uh, this is the complete MBA 20 um, um, preparation strategy. So I'm just adding all these things here. Once everything is ready, I'll be updating this. Uh, I'll be uploading this. Okay. So please wait for that. And this is what the link, this is what the creating the data was exercise. Okay. So you have to create a data was environment for your organization and you have full microsoft 365 license so this is the first thing you should know if you want to create a data was environment you should have the license to create it okay so for that first you have to um uh, you should have installed you should have installed dynamics 365 sales and you should have created the data was so here we will create a data was okay that is not an issue but um, if you are creating a data was you should have the access so keep that in mind uh, first let us go and uh, log in into the power apps why power apps because through power apps we can um, go to the admin center okay and we have to create this environment um while i while it's loading i just want to show you that this is my ebook store if you wanted any if you want to prepare for your uh, interview or if you are uh, if you wanted to try any exercise or a project um, both for a uh, functional as well as the technical you can find all the ebooks here so this is to for your information so this is the power apps home page okay once this power app home page pops up as per this guidelines okay we have to go to the admin center okay this is what the second one which they have mentioned we have to go to the admin center and in the left navigation pane we have to select the environment so let us go to this uh, settings okay so here we have to select the settings and here i have the admin center keep this in mind if you should have the admin privilege to access okay um, so this is my account so i have the admin uh, admin privilege but um, if you are uh, um, uh, if you have your organization tenant i'm not sure you will be having the admin privilege or not okay so you should have this admin privilege in order to create the environment itself so this is my admin um, admin uh, center so if you just go to the left side you can see there is an option called environments so let's just cl click on this environments okay so once you click here environment you can see you can create a new environment here okay this is the new environment actually the instructions which is given here is it's add database because previously it was add database but now you have to add the environment so let's just create new and once you can see you can uh, use the uh, environment demo uh, data uh, data was okay so uh i'll then just go down and if you want to add any groups and you have to make uh, this as some other uh, state okay if you wanted to uh, so this is what they have mentioned language currency you have to enable all these things right so let us see here let us just try to add india um let us see uh even though even if it is like um united state as a default you know you can see uh, you can enable this and the type is a sandbox okay just go ahead with the sandbox environment you have a lot of types here like a trial which is subscription based developer production and trial developer and production if you if you are developing for any specific project we'll be creating that i'm just showing you a demo so i just want to go with the sandbox environment and if you come down you can see add a data verse data store okay so this is what actually they are talking about you have to enable this okay so uh, in this exercise what they have given is the previous version okay now it has changed so here you have to just add to the data verse first and then click next 
okay so don't enable the pay as you go as your services and here once if you just add it you can see here that this is english like what you want to add you can do it currency okay this is what they are uh, telling here okay language you can set the language you can set the color currency and deploy sample apps data right so here you can set what is the currency what is the language and you if you want you can select the uh, security group okay and i think that is not mentioned here the security group they just wanted to add the language currency enable and the sample group yes they have added the security group select the security group to restricted access to the environment so let us just select it and uh, restricted access right so you can just uh, drag uh, down and see okay uh, so we can just go ahead with because uh, there is no specific thing uh, for me because i'm just using my msft account so no worries about it okay and in the dynamics we have to enable the dynamics 365 app here okay and then we have to uh, let me just go ahead and select the uh, open access it's not open access i'm just restricting it okay um so yes i think almost uh, everything is done um, because here the language the default language for the environment and it's english currency the base currency that is used for reporting dollar and we we have to enable the 365 yes we have enabled and deploy sample apps and the data yes we have deploy sample apps uh where is that uh, deploy sample apps okay so automatically deploy these apps okay which is not enabled let me just try to change this to uh mm, okay let us try to change this to sales and marketing so it's not actually enabling okay might be there will be changes okay because it's a cloud environment that will be often there will be changes in the uh, in the um, uh, domain okay in the cloud <coughs> so dynamics 365 app may be installed after this environment operation okay they will be installing it uh, so here it is like deploy uh, the these apps which is showing us none and uh, i couldn't see anything sample apps right okay mm, okay i think um beyond this i am unable to access anything so none it's not showing okay let me just go ahead with msft itself okay or else let me just go ahead with open access as null because uh, anyhow it's not showing anything so just click save you know it's a loading uh, it will just take it if it has any any issues the environment can't be created because your organization tenants in at least one gb okay because since i'm using my msft account and um, database capacity is not there so that's why it's showing that and this is the simple uh, thing here okay so you just want to go ahead with this so yes if you have any queries uh, related to this you just try to create it okay um and if you have it just try it because uh, this is uh, showing a different one and you can try it and let me know and after this we have i think we have um, um uh, we'll be discussing about another exercise here okay which will be useful for uh, to prepare the mba 20 i hope you understand how this concept works thank you take care bye bye have a great day and i'll meet you soon